Today, I'm going to be making a foam board chuck glider slash decoration X-Wing because I want to first off test out the design that I've made for one for a future project that might be coming, depending on what you guys might want. Um, and two, because I want it in my room as a decoration. So we're going to go ahead and start that. So basically what I'm doing in this clip is 3D modeling the actual X-Wing in Blender. Uh, this is just so I get the right shape. So I found a 3D model of an X-Wing online, uploaded it in Blender, and then 3D modeled a cube to just look like it, and split it and stuff. It's pretty simple, it just doesn't, it doesn't take that long. And then I export that as a paper model, and then I go into this other online software, called grab it which you'll see right now and I just kind of start taking all the pieces and I shape them and put them together in the way that I want them to be but it makes it easier to put it together and stuff Okay, in this clip, I am cutting out the plans after I fully designed them and I printed them out and then taped them together. Now I just cutting them out of the foam board. And then what you do after that is all the little scored lines that you cut before, you open them up by dragging the barbecue skewer through it. And then you bend each one so it gets used to bending. And then you just kind of glue it on the seam so that it's almost a cylinder and then you just do that for the next one and the next one and then you glue it on glue each piece that's not connected by the registration marks that will be in the plans and you just keep doing that until you get all the way to the end there should only be four pieces for the fuselage and then after that you're going to take the cockpit which will show up in just a second it's almost the exact same process. You just grab it, open up the score lines, and then glue it together. You glue each like row of pieces together, and then that should form the cockpit, and then just glue it where it should go. And now this is the nose cone. It's the exact same process as the fuselage, just smaller. You just kind of repeat the same process, glue it all together, bend it, open it, glue it together. And then it should just slide over the front. The, it, the, um, the curve that is in the nose cone, when you're looking at the plane from the left side, it should look like the, it's, it should look like an exponential equation that is going to the left and is positive, if you know what that means. If not, just look at the thing the pictures and stuff and kind of just figure it out. It's not that hard. Just look at reference images and it, it'll be fine. Um, now I am gluing the wing in and all you do for that is line the slots up, glue them in, put them together and then it should be able to just bend. So then you just flatten it, push it all the way through, bend it back out, and glue it in. Now you're going to take the poster board pieces the one that is, I believe, six and a half by four, you're going to glue it along the long end, so then it should make a really small cylinder. And then the one that I believe is seven and a half by five and a half, I think, um, you're going to glue that one along the short end, so then it should make a big tube. And then what you do is you line them up, and then you mark where the smaller tube um, goes farther than the bigger tube and you mark it there and then you glue it in at that line so then it's sticking out the exact same amount as the bigger tube and then you just glue them on. It's, it's pretty simple.
Okay, in this clip, I'm cutting out the guns. All I did was take a side view of the X-Wing and then trace out the gun shape and then scaled them to my X-Wing and then printed out the pieces, uh, taped the papers together and then taped it onto the foam board and then cut all the tiny little lines and it would be tedious and I would not recommend using foam board like I did. I'd recommend using recommend using some sort of plastic or something stronger because these were really annoying when I started painting. So yeah, I mean they look pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend using them at all. Now it's time for painting. So all you have to do here is look at the reference images of everything online and then you just kind of mask off the parts that you want for certain colors like red. You just mask off all the red places Spray those, let it dry, take off the masking tape carefully, and then mask off the parts that need to be black or gray, and just repeat that process until you're happy with what you got. Um, I did this with black, gray, and red, and that's all I felt was needed. It's not the most realistic paint job ever, but it works enough for me, and I like it, so this is what I did. And then after all the paint job stuff, uh, like, all I did was take the gray spray paint and the black spray paint and hold the X-Wing like at arm's like, length away from me and then lightly dusted the whole thing to make it look kind of like leathery and I really liked that effect. I also sprayed the black down the holes in the vents to kind of simulate what the end tube would look like when the, after the engines were fired. Okay, so I feel like that turned out pretty well. I mean, it looks a lot like an X-Wing, and it, it's not the most accurate paint job, but I mean, it works for me. Here it is. Um, yeah, I just threw the model off of the model I found online and I built it, and it looks pretty dang good. Uh, if you'd like to build one yourself, I'm going to be either selling them on my Etsy shop, selling the plans, or putting them on my website. I haven't decided yet, it depends on how I feel about it. But if you wanna do that, it'll, the link will be in the description for wherever it is. And if you liked, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment and liking the video, it, it, it helps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.